the young and the restless spoilers, what we see next is Chelsea acting a bit crazy, and I think this is an act of dehumanization. A mother never used her son as a lure. This time, the innocent victim will be her own child. Ray and Connor are both obsessed with getting revenge on Adam, making them act a bit crazy. Connor would be deeply hurt if he knew his mother was trying to take him as a part of prey to capture his own father. However, the fact that she had to force Adam to pay the price was greater than the responsibility to protect her son, both physically and emotionally. Connor's already been mentally traumatized, lacking in emotion, and if this continues in time, it's gonna be pretty hard to fix this. But Chelsea didn't think about the consequences. Chelsea needed Adam to pay the price for his crime, but knew there would be dire consequences if she allowed Ray to use Connor Newman as a trap. Adam wouldn't forgive a mother for making a joke like that. He is a strict person, but Connor is all that Adam has. What do you think will happen when Chelsea allows Ray to use her son as bait? What damage will Connor have to suffer in the long run? Melissa Claire Egan gave a short interview and shared that after the shock of a stroke, Chelsea not only affected her health, but her mentality, her head, and mental health were severely affected. These jobs seem to have made Chelsea form a new personality controlling her. It's often called a multi-personality disorder. Chelsea had belittled Ray's life, dragging him into a plan of revenge, even though he was an innocent man. She didn't seem to have any regrets about having an innocent man pay the price. I mean, he almost died and almost never regained consciousness. In fact, he was pretty much fortunate that the poison was found fast enough and that the antidote was used in time. It was definitely a close call. Egan still does not want to reveal what Chelsea's next fate will be. How would her exit look like? This makes some people curious, and as she shared, I think Chelsea will most likely be concluded with a mental illness, and her next place of living is a psychiatric hospital. This place may or may not cure her illness before returning to a normal life, potentially. This is kind of her perfect exit. Egan is pregnant, and she wants to take the time to rest, and her expected time for birth is around August. But she will probably be able to return to work by 2022. Do you think Chelsea will really be put in a psychiatric hospital?